Yeah, superstar duo, Amon and Leona O'Lion. And they're they're local, they're Hawaii boys and girls, and they're brothers and sisters. And um, guess what? Uh, actually, uh, Leona is the older, so she's big sister. Sorry about oh. that, Emma. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm the younger. Oh, the youngest. Oh, sorry. I, I just so close in age. And, you're, and neither one of you has hit 20 yet. All right. That's good. Mm -hmm. And you have a fantastic superstar story to tell. Which one of you guys wants to tell the story? Uh, I guess I'll tell the story. So I okay. uh, think about what, six years ago? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So six years ago, me and my family, we moved to uh, a tent on the Big Island. And while we were there, that's where me and Leah discovered that we could write our own music. And I remember it was a rainy Sunday <clears throat> and I was being super lazy. And my dad told me to go write a song as a joke. But, you know, I thought he's being serious. So being a good son, <laughs> I went to go and try write a song. And then a couple hours later, I showed it to my family. And I think that's what inspired Leah. So I think I'm Leah's inspiration. And, and ever since then, yeah, we've been writing music and trying yeah. to pursue music. Definitely my inspiration for sure. Yeah. So then you, you took this song and you made a Zoom show out of it, a Zoom meeting, I guess, and you sent it to American Idol. Can you tell that story, Leah? Yeah, the audition process was so interesting because of COVID. They actually had virtual auditions for the first time. So my mom actually found the auditions for American Idol while she was just searching up on Google for a way uh, for us to get more exposure. And sure enough, she said, hey, you guys wanna try out for American Idol? And I haven't watched American Idol in years and I haven't seen what's going on, but we didn't think much of it. And we said, okay, yeah. So we send in this Zoom audition of our original music. 24 hours later, the producers call us back and they say, hey, we want you in Hollywood in two weeks in front of the celebrity judges. And I didn't know that there were six other auditions before you even get on TV to the celebrity judges. So the fact that they just wanted us to skip all that and just leave right away to California, it's still so unbelievable for me, but we went over there, we did our audition and we made it past the first round and got our golden tickets. And the process was so fast, but it was so cool. Still unbelievable to think about though sometimes. Yeah, yeah that was what, a couple of years ago? Two years ago. Yeah, 2020. Yeah. Oh, we're in 2022. Yes. Yeah. So, so um, you know, Alan, what 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 happened at American Idol? I mean, you you, you probably had expectations, but um, maybe you were surprised. Uh, well, yeah, I was definitely surprised. I mean, when you watch American Idol on TV, the room looks really small. Like it doesn't seem like a big room, but when me and Leah walked in there, there's like these massive double doors that you walk through. And it's like a warehouse and it's so big. And then you're in the very middle of the, the warehouse and there's what, 40 cameras. 40 cameras, tons of tons lights. Tons of lights. And then the celebrity you. judges, they're like a little, the ground they're on is higher than what you're on. So it feels like they're kind of looking down. Yeah. <laughs> and it's kind of like, oh, dang, this is really scary. But I was so grateful I had Leah with me. So that definitely helped. Yeah. Yeah. Were you nervous? Oh, definitely. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> So how, how did it go, Leah? I mean, how, you know, what, what song or songs did you sing for that? And uh, how did it go? How did you feel about it while you were performing on the stage that day? It was actually a really cool experience because Ammon and I actually auditioned with an original song, which is actually a really big risk on our part because nobody really tries out with um, original music. But we were so young and we had a lot of faith and confidence in our writing and Sure enough, the music blows up when it's on, you know, video to like 14 million views. And then Emma and I were like, okay, maybe we, we can do this for a living. Maybe <laughs> writing music is our forte. But the judges were so nice and so supportive and they gave such good advice and ones that we still keep to this day and we'll use for the future. Wow. Wow. So what, what did they say they liked about it? Uh, they said that we were definitely something new, something fresh. Uh, I think they even were, used the word unique, like we're kind of creating our own uh, genre in a way. So it's something very different than what's usually being played. And I don't know, that sounded pretty cool. Yeah. And then Katy Perry said that our future is going to be like signed to labels. It'll happen very, very soon. So hearing from yeah. that from a celebrity and somebody who has made it big in the music industry, I'm like, yes, okay, I got some faith in myself. Wow. Wow. What an experience. I want to be clear that has never happened to me never 
<laughs> so, so can you guys give me a few bars from the song that you sang in American Idol? Yeah, of course. Yeah, so this is a song we sang together, and then it was originally called Listen to My Heart, but when we sang it on American Idol, everybody started calling it Boom, because there's like a lyric like, boom, boom. And then now it's called, what is it called? I don't want to be, be alone. alone. <laughs> oh, great. That title, I don't want to be alone. I like that title. <laughs> yeah. It started with the head though, but I was on the go. Cause we are in a fight, yeah, nothing felt right. Cause you had things you had to do, you didn't like my tone. Okay. can see why they got excited yeah so yeah. you guys did you grow up in a music family i mean do you have any relatives who are musically inclined oh yeah of yeah, course definitely. so my mom and my dad's side they both come from nine kids total in each family and our family has nine kids total so my mom's side of the family was very musically inclined always learning classical music and choirs and so we get a lot of our talent from um our mom's side and because of the hawaiian culture music has always been a part of our lives from when we were babies to now it just has always been there so we knew from the beginning that music would somehow always be a part of our lives yeah and it's actually um so i have an uncle who writes his own music too uncle ty and he's actually the guy that inspired me to kind of uh try and write music because i didn't want to do music i thought music was for the type of boys that couldn't handle sport <laughs> you can handle them both though eh? <laughs> Okay, so um, so you you know you found you discovered one 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 day that you could sing, but uh, and you could write a song. Now, writing songs may not be exactly the same as as music, as mm -hmm. singing, as understanding, feeling it. You know, um, yeah. where, where does where does the songwriting come from? Because that's that's poetry, Leah, isn't it? It is poetry. To be honest, I think. Because of that experience on the big island of living in a tent, we had so much time to ourselves from the lives that we were living before that I feel like thanks to that time in the tent, it was the only way Ammon and I discovered that we could write music. And it was surprising for me because I have never been good at poetry at all. In fact, when I was a kid growing up, I used to try out for these poem competitions. And if your poem won, you get like these awards. And I never won every year that I tried out, but he <laughs> did. And I was like, are you kidding me? But um, now that like we write music and stuff, it is definitely a talent that has progressed over time. So are you the lyrics person, Lynn? I'm definitely, well, we both write together, but I love writing because it's, therapy for me honestly when I feel I cannot express something enough through words music is the only way that I think people can feel what I feel so that's what oh. I love mean about writing and, and, and uh, where's your strength Ammon are you in the music department or are you in the lyrics department um so Leah's music she's been musically trained so she knows like the format of everything like how it should be like verse chorus and stuff like that yeah so me I kind of just like go with the flow so I go with what I hear and what I feel so when we write music together um, I'm kind of like the brainstorm guy so I just spit out a bunch of uh, words and a bunch of tunes and then Leah kind of takes it and puts it in a, in a form. structured form yeah she calls form. it what do you call it I, I called it like creative trash because it's he not trash, literally though, just throws things out there and then, but I think a better word for it is 
creative chaos, I would say. <laughs> but it's nice for me because if I hear something I like, I'll put it into a structured form. Like, oh, okay, I like that tune. Let's put it into the verse. Or I like that tune. Let's put it into the bridge. So he's kind of like my idea machine, just throwing out yeah, stuff. I'm idea, and I'm like, man. okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> creative chaos. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, it reminds me of uh, Simon and Garfunkel. You know, I was classmates with Simon and Garfunkel. They were, they were wow. in, my, in my class for a long time. And uh, Simon was the music guy and Garfunkel was the lyrics guy. Mm -hmm. And yet when they, when they put it together, they, you know, you couldn't really tell. They, 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 they were mm, creative, so creative. Um, does it, do you think it affects things that your brother and sister, how does that play here? Um, I mean, our relationship, wasn't so good at the beginning so our first song that we just played for you guys um i don't want to be alone the inspiration behind that song so me and leo we got in a fight and for a week we didn't talk to each other at all like <laughs> it was bad it i already forgave her though fight. but <laughs> girls hold on to things for so long that we didn't talk for a long time yeah yeah so, uh, but we've learned to compromise and you know work and kind of give up on things and remember what's more important yeah i guess with siblings the only problem is when you're really close you get in debates a lot and em and i being the oldest of nine kids like we yes yeah, we have very strong heads you like we're so hot-headed in so many things and so throughout the years of writing we've had to learn how to compromise with each other's differences and because of that now our differences actually work to an advantage instead of a disadvantage yeah well you know i was going to ask you about that you know, of this big, big family. Is there anybody else among those nine kids, um, you know, that, that has the same talent, that has the same aspiration? You think you'll uh, have several, several, um, you know, Amons and Leonas? What do you think? I honestly think my younger siblings are more talented than me. So <laughs> I think they're actually Yeah, we better. have some very talented young siblings, but they don't like singing. They don't want to do that stuff. They're rather... Hey, but they're, they're our backup the dancers right now. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, they'll be at the Blue Note dancing with us tonight. We just released our first album, and it's only on CD. So you can get it at our website at live. We will be singing all those originals, plus some amazing covers as well. And um, if you guys come, we would love to meet you guys after and sign some CDs for you as well. Yeah, <laughs> sounds great. Super fun with a lot of backup dancers and good food and just sick music. But we did okay. release one song. Oh, yes. We did release one song called All For You. It is on YouTube now. It has over 4 million views. So, and it's released on all streaming platforms. So if you guys want to listen to that, go check it out. Okay. Well, how about another one? How about giving us one more to punctuate the show? You got another one in mind? We're going to do an acapella though. So this That's is the good. name okay. of our, our album, and it's called Gotta Move On. And it, we wrote this song because I'm a senior and I just graduated this year. And when you start on journeys and new paths in life, there's always things that you got to leave behind. But there's something beautiful about growing up and moving on. I'm sorry, I can't remember that. <laughs> Don't worry, you'll hear it in the music. <laughs> I'll admit that I'm scared, oh, don't think I'm prepared yeah, yeah. to face the world ahead of me, ahead of me. but it's time to take my turn, oh, oh. I've got things to learn, and I know it won't be easy, yeah. I'll be on my own, but I don't want to be alone, am I ready, yeah. stars very fresh i would say and you know you play off each other the brother and sister thing counts that's right that's what it is <laughs> so you know it's one thing that we we need to know about so okay you have um, you have uh, american idol 
and you are extraordinarily successful. They love you there. Millions and millions of people like you. And um, that's really something. And they, what, you come back to the big island and sit around and watch the rain? What? <laughs> We're just here for vacation and to visit family because um, ever since we left the tent, we haven't been back to the islands and we miss it so much. And so just to walk around and relive these memories of how it started and where it all came from is just such a beautiful thing. So that's why we're here. Yeah, but we do have a bunch of uh, tours and performances coming up. So exciting. In October, yeah. In we October, have the American have... Idol tour that will yeah, be touring over the entire United States. And then we have a Southeast Asia tour coming up. So that's exciting. Wow. Wow. Well, can, you know, how, how did this all happen? I mean, okay, so we know it means a lot to be successful on, um, you know, American Idol. But something must have happened. Somebody must have come up to you and said, hey, man, you guys are terrific. Let me make you a deal, record deal, you know, album, whatnot. Uh, how did that happen? Oh, man, it's all thanks to our mother. Yeah, She's our momager. Yeah. She's a superwoman for sure. Very determined. The most passionate person I've ever seen. And, you know, she always gets things done. So thanks to her, we are able to live our dream to share our music around the world. And we can do it without our parents. So we have our mom and our dad to thank for all of that. Yeah, uh, uh, and all at the same time, you're still in school, am I right? Uh, we had just graduated, <laughs> but yeah, college. Okay, well, tell, tell me about your educations these days and how you manage to be superstars and students at the same time. I'm, oh I'm, I'm not sure I know how to do that. <laughs> it was a long process, I'll tell you that much, but we do a lot of online schooling too, at least I did, because yeah. I was an early graduate. So I did a lot of things online. There were many times I couldn't show up to school and stuff. So that's the kind of stuff you got to sacrifice in order to live the dream that you want. Yeah. Well, you know, it strikes me that your remarkable experience is all during COVID. Yeah. I know. Crazy yeah. How, how did COVID affect this? Did, did it help you? Did it hinder you? Did it, was it of no consequence or a big consequence, Amit? Uh, it's like a good and a bad thing at the same time because we had so much time that we're able to kind of focus more on music but since nothing was open everything was kind of like it was hard to get out there and i would say but um no we definitely found this really awesome guy named eddie and he's the one that kind of directed us and put us in the right direction how we can get our music out there Anyone, Rick, yeah. yeah and it's only been i'd say six months since we really started kind of getting out there and putting our music out and we've done quite a lot so i think it's, it's a good awesome. thing though we went during COVID time because now looking back on it i don't think we were that ready to do what we're doing now yeah, that's like true. we definitely i was, I was bad time. during my kind of my past <laughs> <laughs> we're all we're all getting better slowly and progressing yeah, definitely improving. yeah so you know how has that been i mean uh, you know has has success uh, softened your um uniqueness your uh, refreshingness um or has it motivated you i mean are you are you writing a lot these days? And and how how have you how have you changed, Leona? You must have changed. We all changed. You must have changed in these past couple three years, huh? Um, yeah, for sure. I American Idol was such a good learning and growing experience for me, um, performance wise, camera wise. There's always things that you need to learn, and it's it's a really cool thing when you when you grow up in life because there's always stuff you need to learn. So it's important to always you know, stay humble and have that learning mentality, because if you don't, you have no chance in getting better. And I think that's what I've learned these uh, past three years. So in writing music, in meeting new people, in interviews like this, it's important to remember that there's always things to learn. So thanks to American Idol, that's the kind of mentality I've had now. And it's been such a blessing. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> um, so when you sit down to write a song, I mean, what, what, you know, what is it like? Do you um, do you sit around a piano? Do you sit around the living room? Do you, how do you get the perfect environment to, to write the song? And, uh, so, and how often does that happen? Uh, sometimes it's weird for me. So sometimes in the middle of the night, I have like a dream. <laughs> for some reason, I remember like a little tune in my dream. So I have um, this uh, voice memos app on my phone. And I just record uh, certain sounds and tunes. Funny, that I, I do, people. I do too, but it doesn't work the same way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I either base um, my song off a tune I hear or a feeling first. And then uh, depending on either the tune or the feeling, that's what I kind of roll with. And um, 
I don't know how to play the piano, but I kind of mess around on it. Leah just says I bang the keys too hard and ruin she it. She does. He has like no, this, I don't. I don't. He's so buff, but he has like this <laughs> unamount immense power of strength, and he just bangs the keys. And like, bro, you gotta have some technique okay. to it. Okay. Okay. Care. Yeah. He doesn't care. So I'm like, whatever. Yeah, but that's what usually happens. Either tune or filling, and then I kind of lay it out on the piano to kind of get the the chords and the 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 smoothness or the vibe I want and then yeah that's what he usually starts off with. So do you do you need each other to finish the song? Uh yes and no. There are certain songs yeah. where I'll ask Emin for help, but many times when we write music it's usually personal messages to us. So the only people we really need is ourselves. But definitely when we write music together we're I think when we write together too it's a lot faster and it's better. So it is so much faster yeah. when you got two brains working at the same time. How long does it take you? Um, when we write songs together, it takes us like two hours. Yeah, it's pretty um, quick when we write together. But when we write by ourselves, it depends on the subject, on the tune, how far we think we can get with it. So, so you know, I want to look forward with you. We have a few minutes left, and I want to talk about your mm, vision, your vision of yourselves uh, individually and together um, as a, a, a daring duo superstars um, in the future. You must have some idea about where this is going to go. Leahona, oh, yeah. where do you think it's going to go? And I think it's going to go, well, not think, I know it's going to go to sold out stadiums in front of thousands of people traveling worldwide on a tour, releasing albums and getting tons of singles on the top charts. That's where I see us and sign with the label. So Don't that's hold where back. we're going to be someday. We just got to keep <laughs> grinding, man. <laughs> And, and Emin, are you going to be there? You have the same yeah. vision? <laughs> we're going to be there. Yeah, we're going to be together. We're going to stick together. We are, okay. Three hit songs. That's my goal. Three hit three. songs. Travel around the world. Have an awesome tour. Yeah. So this is, this is as far as you guys can see, this is the long-term deal. Uh, yeah. This yeah. Is, no, yeah. Oh, wow. Wow. So, um, and, it's, and it's geographic everywhere, eh? We like that. Yep. Yep. Why everywhere. not? Why not? Sky yeah, why not? Though. Yeah. Well, I you know hope the world is friendly in the sense that you know there's so many issues going on in the world now, and you know it's just speak of climate change all by itself. Um, but uh, if you're determined to travel, you can travel, and if you're a piece of Hawaiiana and, and Americana, uh, you you know there'll be people everywhere who wanna who wanna see you and understand you. So, do you think your message will change, Ammon? Uh, <clears throat> Does she want to get on the show too? Never mind. Uh, do you think I, don't think, our, I don't think our message will change because yeah. my brother and I, we write songs based on hope and things that people can relate to in good ways to see how beautiful life can be. Yeah. And I always want it to be that message because we don't have very much of that in this world anymore. No, true. Yeah. And the music industry has uh, tried to change me and Leah. In and they definitely ways. try to split us up and say like, oh, we're better on our own or we're holding each other back. But I don't um, think people realize the potential I'm yeah, have together. When we're, when we're together, we're able to <laughs> strengthen each other too and make sure we stay. You know, and that's what I can't forward. wait for people to see, the true potential of a brother and sister duo from the island. Hawaii. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys are great together. That's fabulous. You okay. think you might include, uh, I was kind of asking about this before you think you might include somebody else in the family in your group maybe make it a trio is that possible we want to but none of them want to join you they're so talented but they don't like that fame of being in the spotlight they rather just be to themselves it's just totally fine like <laughs> well were you guys shy before have you you know have you become less shy in this experience I, most people would you know, to hear oh, it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Okay. Yeah, Leah's the extrovert, and I'm the, the introvert. So. so we're definitely opposites yeah, we're... in whatever we do. But thanks to both of our different personalities, I feel like we've come out of our shell in many different ways. Yeah, so I'm more shy, and Leah's more of the extrovert. And uh, because of that, we've kind of learned to balance each other out and push each other in our in our weak spots, I guess. So Leah, she's able to listen more, which is something really hard for her sometimes. I like talking a lot. And then, yeah, I've learned to talk more and to be more comfortable in talking to others. So yeah, we definitely help each other. Yeah, the best partnerships are where the two partners, if there is two, um, are, are slightly different. Yeah, that, those yeah. are the best partners. We, 
As I said before, I, I, where you play off each other. And speaking of playing, can we have another song where we're you know, going to run out of time soon and I want to get a third song in there? And this, these are all your own songs, right? Do you prefer your own songs to some song that somebody else wrote? Uh, well, people like it. <laughs> yeah, I prefer okay. it. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, definitely. I don't know what to say. But when I saw your face, mm, it took my breath away. My breath away. Now every single day I pray. You took my fears away and gave me proof. No matter what they say, I know that you came from heaven. Mm. I know that you came. I know that you came from heaven. Mm. I know that you came. I know that you came from. Wow, I saw some very sophisticated harmonies in there. Thank you. <laughs> ah, Leona, you were, you know, bouncing all off his melody line. Woohoo! Yeah, she's <laughs> good at those. <laughs> Thank you. Well, that's great. Well, let's talk some more about, uh, you know, this evening, Blue Note. How'd you get involved in that? What are you going to, you know, what, what are you going to do there? And um, what it means to you in terms of your career, you know, because I think part of your career, part of your gestalt, excuse me, uh, is that you are mm, Hawaii. You are a statement of Hawaii. It makes you unique. It makes you refreshing. The world loves Hawaii. And therefore, you know, that's a real advantage for you. Um, so here you are, and you're playing in Hawaii. This is not Cincinnati. I want to be clear. This is Hawaii. Yeah, <laughs> so what does it mean to you to play at the Blue Note? Leah Hanna? Uh, I think it's such a wonderful privilege. You know, being back here in the islands is just so refreshing and healing. And to feel all the love and aloha from all of you guys is such an amazing support that you don't really get anywhere else because Hawaii is all about that aloha spirit. And it feels so good to be back here and to play for, you know, your people, the people that supported you from day one. So I am very excited and cannot wait for tonight. Yeah. And, and Amen, what do you think of it? And, and, and by the way, do you think you guys will always be Hawaii style? Yeah, definitely. I mean, that's, such a big part of us. It's in and, our blood. Yeah, our culture is so big. <laughs> I mean, that's what actually inspired me to write music at the beginning because the Hawaiian culture talks so much about family and nature, and those things are so important. And uh, ever since American Idol, I mean, Hawaii has always supported us and pushed us. So I definitely feel the aloha and the support. Yeah. And we I kind of want to give back, and we owe them we so owe much. We owe everything so, yeah. to them. So um, what, I, I would like to ask you what message you want to leave with people. Um, you know, to share your experiences, to share how it's been for you, to share how you found this creative chaos, um, to share, you know, what you have learned in life so far in this extraordinary experience you've had. Eamon, you go first. Um, well, for me, I think I'd just like to share that, well, in life, generally, things are going to get tough. And, you know, things might not go your way. Me and Leah, we performed in a lot of crowds where there's only been like three, three or four people. You got to start somewhere. So sometimes it can be like a little hard to kind of motivate yourself. But I would say just to remember three important people that really know you and really support you and kind of focus on them to help you carry through those hard times. Because you really do need good people in our lives. And it's important that we keep those uh, relationships strong and to help one another out. So that's what I would say. Yeah, such wisdom. It's such Hawaii. It's Hawaii. <laughs> I feel it. And uh, Leona, what would you say? I think a message I just want to leave with people is um, if you believe in your dream, be consistent. Like Ammon said, there's going to be a lot of hard and difficult times, but, um, you know, it's important to remember why you started in the first place, where you come from and why you love to do what you do. So just keep going, keep grinding, keep pushing forward. As we say in Hawaii, mua. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming on our show. It's been great to talk to you. It's been inspiring. Uh, I am not going to do it myself, but uh, I am inspired nevertheless by, you know, the journey you guys have had. A big aloha and the best of luck to you in your careers. Uh, thank, thank you. you. Mahalo. Aloha.
Thank you so much for watching Think Tech Hawaii. If you like what we do, please like us and click the subscribe button on YouTube and the follow button on Vimeo. You can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn, and donate to us at thinktechhawaii.com. Mahalo.